What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and I got a package in the mail and I have no idea who it's from uh, It did say who it was from but it doesn't make sense I don't I don't know what's in it and I took off that of course to protect my address But uh, I am gonna get a P.O. box one day one day I will I promise and I will leave that address in each of my videos so people can do this to me way more often but um yeah let's figure out what is in here it is a mobile battery power bank okay cool so let's open it up and let's see what's in it okay I do remember this one I didn't know it was coming or you know what it would look like or what kind of packaging it would be in but I do remember being requested to review this unit so this was sent to me I will go ahead and just get that out of the way Thank you for your purchase of the Powerade product. What interested me in this, wow, that's got some weight to it, versus other battery packs that I've done, and I've done many of them. First of all, it comes off with comes with a tiny USB cable, and if you've watched my other videos, you know that I like these because you can plug this in to the side here, and then you can plug this into your phone, and it's like right there. You don't need a cable that's like, you know crazy long and how you're charging something that's really close to it so quick little info about the battery pack it is a 10,000 milliamp hour so it's nice it puts out 5 volts 1 amp and the other one does 5 volts 2.1 amps and one thing that really really struck my eye when I was approached by this was uh, that that is blue that is a super speed USB 3.0 so that's a first for my channel I've never you know reviewed something that was USB 3.0 so the USB 3.0 cable that came with your s5 and your note 3 bam you plug that in that super speed port and that'll charge that sucker up it should charge it up as fast as the wall uh, I will up the description as I test this out because I do have an s5 and I do have a note 3 and I will be able to test out how fast this thing charges the Note 3 and the S5 with this guy right here. So you can also charge something that, that you know, like this, that just takes like 1.5 amps or something like that. And then you can use the other one to charge. And you don't need to necessarily use a USB 3.0 cable, but you're not going to get the full speeds out of it. Now, it would be cool if they provided one of these and a USB 3.0 cable because you can get USB 3.0 cables meant for the S5 and the Note 3 on Amazon and it's like seven or eight dollars on average to get a two pack of little three foot cables. I will try to remember to link those in the description so you can per pick those up and plug it into this blue USB 3.0 port and charge up your phone. So let's go ahead and just plug this into the first one here and plug this in into my phone here and there we go and now it says it's charging it does say that it's charging via AC so that's pretty nice it has four lights right now three of them are lit up letting us know that it's charging and if you want to charge the battery that's in here you'll just simply flip this around so this will go into the little input here and then this will go into your Nexus 5, Nexus 7, HTC One, Galaxy S. You can even use the S5 charger, or the Note 3 charger, anything that's USB, including a computer. You can charge up this uh, battery pack with here. And 10,000 milliamp hours is nothing to laugh at. This is a pretty big battery pack. It's pretty thin, actually. It's about as thick as a phone. Well, a little bit lighter than the than the HTC One M8 without a case on it but a little bit shorter too. So it's not very big and you can actually fit both of these in your pocket without like <laughs> it being absolutely crazy. And there's just some more information there on the bottom. Even a little QR code. Can you scan that? There you go. That's the best that I can get it. So again, you have two ports, one of them being one amp and one of them being 2.1 amps. And you can take this, plug it into here and then take this and plug it into here and pull this out because we're not charging this thing with itself 
and I can take this and plug it into my HTC One M8, and then I could go grab my Nexus 5, my Note 3, any of my other phones, I can grab them and charge it. I just thought I'd go ahead and show this for it in the video. This is what I was talking about. And you can unplug your phone, and you can take this, plug it into here, and take this, and plug it into here. There you go. Plug this into the wall. Now you're charging this guy. You see this cable? It's blue. This came with the Note 3. We're going to go ahead and stick that in the blue port right there. And then we're going to take this and plug it into the bottom of our Note 3. And voila. I do have a custom ROM on here. It is CyanogenMod. So just go ahead and uh, keep that in mind in case you're someone that's never rooted an Android device before and you don't have a clue what a custom ROM is. There you go, both of these phones are charging via AC, thanks to this little guy right here. And my Note 3 should get a fast charge, considering it's using a USB 3.0 cable, and it's in a 2.1 amp port. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos I'm working on, know when the next video is coming out, or to just learn about updates in general. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.